The Rebound Buffalo is our commitment to highlighting how Western New York is bouncing back from this pandemic. Now, you can help small businesses rebound by shopping local. In fact, tomorrow is Independent Bookstore Day. A group of independent bookstores has now recently filed a federal class action lawsuit here in New York claiming that Amazon and the big five publishing companies are behind a massive price fixing scheme to control the market. All those companies deny that claim. But according to the lawsuit, the big five control 80% of the traded book market. And Amazon sells 90% of all print books sold online. But independent stores tell 7 Eyewitness News reporter Galat Malamed tonight that they provide you with an experience you are not going to find on your computer. There's nothing like picking up a book. Customers are back to flipping through pages at Talking Leaves in Buffalo. The Elmwood Avenue store reopened in late January. I knew you were waiting for the for the artsy cats. Brick and mortar at its core. Talking Leaves began online orders about a year before the pandemic began. And come the shutdown, the store transformed into a warehouse for about 10 months for curbside and online orders only. We get orders from far-flung areas all the time, people who went to college here, people who used to live here and still want to support their hometown bookstore. The original Main Street location closed a few years ago. Assistant manager Alicia Michelli says community support during the pandemic gave them a new sense of confidence. Now we really know that our community wants us here, needs us here, and we'll do everything we can to stay here. Just like every book tells a different story, every bookstore has a story of its own. Gather and Game here on Grant Street used to be West Side Stories. I really do miss the a lot of parts about the you know, being surrounded by literature and people who love it. Joe Petrie and his wife owned West Side Stories and a game store, but knew they could only afford one rent when the pandemic hit, moving the games to the bookstore's location. And particularly with our bookstore, we really didn't have much of an online presence, um, which going into the shutdown really made it hard for us, and it would have been a a real uphill battle to get that many, you know, 10,000 titles up online quickly. He says board games and Pokemon are popular pandemic picks. Saturday is Independent Bookstore Day. Authors give indie stores exclusive releases to show support. This is a signed edition. Michelle says it could be the busiest day since reopening. I don't think shopping in person for books is ever going to go out of style. In Buffalo, Gilat Malamed. You take care. 7 Eyewitness News.